There has been a debate going on in the Dead by Daylight community discussing whether or not we can expect to see Springtrap or any other Five Nights at Freddy's characters in a Five Nights at Freddy's themed Dead by Daylight chapter. This is extremely exciting and I look forward to it if they end up making it and if it's more than just rumors being talked about online. But anyway, we're going to be jumping in what I think will be done with this Five Nights at Freddy's Spring Trap Dead by Daylight chapter. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Stay tuned. There's more video to be had. It is not your flesh that sustains me. It is your fear. Your time is up. I'm back. I personally am on board with the idea of a Five Nights at Freddy's chapter in Dead by Daylight. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to pan out the way people think it will. Because of one thing that the developers said when they were talking about the Stranger Things chapter that came out in 2019. And that was the reason why they didn't have Eleven or Dustin or Will was because they didn't want to encourage, you know, people to hurt or want to kill children. And that's why instead we got the Demogorgon and Steve Harrington and Nancy Wheeler because the developers didn't want to encourage people to hurt or kill children, which is completely understandable. So with Springtrap having that exact same origin story, revolving around him killing a bunch of children in the 80s and then stuffing their bodies inside of animatronic characters, which of course became possessed by the spirits of the dead children and then went on to cause mayhem. You know, yeah, that's kind of a messed up origin story. And the fact that inside the suit, inside the Spring Bonnie suit, is a mutilated corpse of the same guy who killed those children. So, yeah, it's kind of a morbid idea, but hey... Dead by Daylight has come up with some more morbid ideas for characters in their game already, so who knows, I could be completely wrong about this. But say we do get a Dead by Daylight, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's or Fazbear Fright chapter, here's something that I think would be cool. You could have Springtrap, and because he's such a heavy character, you could probably hear him coming by the heavy footsteps and, of course, the mechanical... Um, the mechanical piece is moving because he is a robot. He's part robot and part corpse. So you'd be able to hear, you know, the mechanical piece is moving as he comes after you. Which would make him very easy to counter because you'd be able to hear him coming from a mile away. As for the survivor, I think that the survivor will be Charlie. Because, of course, Dead by Daylight is against kids being hurt. So we'd probably get Charlie because Charlie isn't a kid. But she's not an adult either. She's probably like in, she's like college age. Depending on which timeline we're looking at, they may very well choose Charlie from the Silver Eyes, which she was in high school. If they choose to do the sequel with the Twisted Ones, we could get college Charlie. So they could do either timeline. I'm sure it doesn't really matter. But yeah, Charlie will probably be the survivor, and Springtrap most definitely will be the killer, just because Springtrap already is a killer in the Five Nights at Freddy's lore. As a human, he was a serial killer, so that makes sense. As for the map layout, I think we have a good chance of getting an abandoned Freddy Fazbear's Pizza or Fazbear's Fright. Now, both of these locations would be awesome, but in the chance that we get Fazbear's Fright, this would make the gameplay change so much. Just because you'd have a condensed area of hallways and vents to go around. So it would make it very tense. And the generators would be scattered all around the Fazbear's Fright Horror attraction. So you'd have to get to the generators and navigate through narrow passageways just to escape Springtrap. Which would be super duper cool. And maybe an idea for the Springtrap uh, killer to work is that... Um, the same way that the doctor works. When Springtrap gets close to you, he starts projecting images. But instead of it being like gross, you know, kind of horrific images like the doctor does, 
what if it's like images of like of like uh, the phantom animatronic so like when springtrap is close to you he has a power which allows him to project like flashy sort of jump scare images of the phantom animatronics like phantom freddy phantom foxy phantom mangle and so on and so forth the ideas the potential really of this five nights of freddy's chapter in dead by daylight has no limits i mean they could do whatever they wanted with it there's so much that you could do with a five nights of freddy's spring trap killer chapter and i'm excited to see if this if this idea that they're talking about pans out if um the, the developers decide that they're gonna make a five nights at freddy's dead by daylight chapter because it'd be really cool to see springtrap as a killer in dead by daylight to see him introduced as this killer that's now been you know taken over by the entity and is now forced to do the entity's bidding like most of the other killers in the game anyway what do you guys think about the idea of having springtrap or charlie in dead by daylight and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed do take care and have a great night happy haunts